Look at his lovely assistant pretending to be coordinated enough to do it. Well, I didn't it right away. I wanted to get dressed a lot more, you know? So before you can actually install the front body armor, you have to remove this underskirting on the Subaru, which most Subarus have if it's not been destroyed or removed by uh, previous work that may have been done and uh, discarded. But it's a bunch of body clips, the little plugs, uh, e pretty easy to remove. Uh, there's a couple bolts that you pull out, and once it's out of the way, it exposes all the bolt holes that you'll need to use to mount the body armor. Now a couple of the just plug bolts or plugs, I uh, put the uh, body plugs back in and let those uh, fill the holes, not get lost. So once I got this removed, I proceeded with the gun and installing the uh, body armor. Just make sure you have it facing the right way because it has the lip on the front, but the way it's tapered, it fits in one way and not the other. Now what I did not show, I realized. We uh, stopped, had lunch, and came back and I installed it before I realized the cameras were not rolling. But there's two extended bolts, uh, the studs actually, that uh, screw in to the front radiator support and extend down, and that's what the body armor will mount to on the very front. But that goes into where there's two white uh, clip that are exposed when this uh, underskirting is removed. But the, just pop those out of the way, and then the uh, studs get s screwed in there. So the instructions kind of lay all that out.
actually one of the things, things is, is you know says it can do is cut the side panels to basically fill up you know, part of this in place. Okay, this is where those two studs get screwed oh, yeah. to. You can see it's the bottom of the radiator. Uh, it's going to have to be get it uh, flipped up here. And around it. There we go. And you can see the it's a wash, big water do body washer. And then the stud just screws in there, extends the other uh, part of the stud down. And uh, the body armor goes up there, and there's actually these spacers on the body armor. Give it that uh, connection that it needs. looking for kept getting caught on the nut and it was keeping it away. You should be able to fill up there. So that one's in there or not? Can't really tell on that one if that one's in or not. I don't think that one's in. I think you're cross threading. You know? Just because based on how easy this one is and that one's not moving, I think you're cross threading or something. The 12?
13 millimeters. Blood all over my car. Not cool. What's that? I said blood all over my car. Big blood. Red and yellow. Blood ketchup blood. and mustard. See, look at that. That's why I always look at that. I put it all over it. <laughs> Everywhere he touches. The wet spot on that one that might make it easier. What's that? We need a wet spot on this one. Thanks, appreciate it. Not a badge of courage. That reaction. All right, dear, you are now primitive. And we did not get very many videos of that front plate going on at all. Well, I had this camera, you know, filming that, so that's why I you know, wanted to get the two cameras. I'll get it work pretty good.